with over 600 companies working with Swanly daily, it's safe to say our roadmap tool for Jira is loved by many. But why exactly do folk love Swanly so much? Here are 10 reasons why teams choose Swanly for planning and tracking work in Jira. I rarely meet companies that have a single project in Jira for all of their work needs. And rare occasions when this is the case, it was set as a workaround for cross-project activities and reporting. I say no more. Use our project planning hub instead. It covers work from across all your company projects so that you don't need to spend time navigating multiple sources or chase people for updates. Sure, you can do this with advanced roadmaps, but it requires you to upgrade to at least the Jira premium plan. And do you really want to pay $7 per user for it? So only gives you a more elegant solution at a fraction of the cost. If you ask me what part of the project I like the most, I would undoubtedly say the planning stage, especially with Swanly making it so snappy and versatile. Let me explain. Primarily, we know that each team has different approach to planning. So would it make sense to offer a, a way to schedule work that is not flexible? Of course not. The roadmap provides a variety of swim lane options. You can show a project per row or switch to templates as rows, assignee, or even statuses. And this is great not only for reporting, but for planning as well. It means you can drag a task into a row to schedule it and assign it to a colleague, specify what kind of deliverable it is, or add it to the in progress bucket. And if that didn't blow your mind, here's something that will. If you prefer to schedule lengthier tasks quickly with Swanly, you can drag and drop to plan a week, a month, a quarter, or even a year long activity by simply zooming the timeline to the corresponding level. You currently get two pages with the app, the roadmap planning and the issue planning. They are very similar in functions, but working with different objects in Jira and customers use them for specific purposes. Release planning often happens for delivering software versions while planning using issues means you can track anything from product features to marketing campaigns or large scale programs. The other unique benefit is that you're not restricted to only planning epics, but you can use any issue taxonomy, be it stories, tasks, subtasks, or custom issue types like, say, work packages. You can plan all of it with Swanly's roadmap view. We know that every team works on various activities and depending on the type of activity, the workflow differs. So it makes sense you have repeatable delivery templates for feature launch, marketing campaigns, or change management. So only not only offers you the ability to have different workflows and phases based on the type of deliverable, but you can also register a standard duration for each stage. This makes your life a breeze when planning an activity that follows the default execution plan. Just specify when it's supposed to start or finish and Swanly will auto schedule all the stages. Nice. When diving into the details, you genuinely get a sense of awareness when looking at the reporting panel, be it release, epic, or task report. With each deliverable that needs breaking down into smaller tasks, you will have available aggregated reporting. You learn how the work scope is advancing, understand the time spent, story points achieved, and visualize progress using the burndown chart. And because often more than one team works on delivering a release or you need to include tasks from multiple projects, we added the ability to create cross project releases and have all of this reporting available for shared scope. That's super handy if you ask me. Suppose you need your colleague to update a report. In that case, you could give them directions on how to reach the specified activity by navigating the timeline. Or better yet, use the share button on the report. 
If your colleague clicks on the link, that report will open. Simple. No need to navigate, filter, or search for it. And if you need to report on progress, but your stakeholders don't have access to Jira, you can just download the spreadsheet version of your plan. The timeline view is structured to welcome all stakeholders in your organization. The progress information is available and ready to be consumed by anyone at any level. Given that Swanly accommodates any type of deliverable, it means you can see large initiatives or campaigns unfold, but also shorter term activities. And from there, you can assess the health by drilling down into the progressing stages. After that, you can dive deep into the details and understand the low level tasks and aggregated reports. The segmented approach to tracking means Swanly helps keep everyone in the loop from program managers or heads of campaigns to project managers, leads and execution. If you're looking to find or glance at work from across the organization without navigating the timeline, you can switch to the list view. Data here is more compact, but you get more information at a glance. You'll find all of the available filters super helpful to create the progress insight you need. And you still get the deep dive report as you do on the timeline view. Unlike traditional Gantt roadmaps where each task occupies an entire role, Swanly stacks activities horizontally to make efficient use of space and make it easier to understand the scheduled work by enabling you to navigate the vertical and horizontal axis with ease. Then the addition of dragging to move instead of just scrolling and the fluid movement adds to the overall experience. Swanly is not just for reporting, but tightly integrates with Jira to help you save time and keep you from having to open dozens of pages. The app enables you to create issues and releases while planning, edit issue data without leaving the page, and quickly create or add scope to deliverables. The only place you need to be is in Swanly. And that's the roundup, folks. I shared with you the top reasons why customers love our app so much. If you're intrigued and want to discover how Swanly can help your team plan and track work better in Jira, book a demo with Nikki and me, link in the description. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we plan to share more helpful content like this soon. See you.